Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Loses at Hearthstone Arena. We're gonna click the play button and swallow our medicine probably again. So, if you didn't see the last episode, we did bow out of the arena. Zero and three, zero wins, three losses as our last rogue deck. That was a disappointing finish, and then I followed it up by uh, buying back into the arena, drafting a hunter deck, and then promptly losing pretty quickly again against a paladin, which normally I have pretty good success with. Uh, now it's Hunter versus Hunter, so it's a mirror match. I have no excuse for a loss here. Uh, please, God, let me do something valuable here. So, going first. This is a weird draw. Spiteful Smith has to go. Thralmar Farseer just isn't quite good enough, but it's a three-mana card, so it scares me. And the problem is I don't want to be saddled with exclusively Iron Beak Owl, because this card is obviously more valuable if we save it for later, but... Uh, we're gonna give it a try anyway. That might be, uh, in actuality, a colossal mistake. But I got Mad Bomber instead. That's a card that I'd rather send out earlier um, instead of the Thralmar Farseer, and obviously instead of the Iron Beak Owl, but we'll just say hello here. Uh, and we'll see how this ends up working out for us. The last game wasn't awful, but I did end uh, It wasn't like it came down to the wire. I was in a lost position for a long, long time. We'll see what the, it looks like he's almost going to use his coin right off the bat. No, Stone Tusk Boar, okay. Uh, that doesn't concern me too much. Mad Bomber, in all likelihood, can take care of the Stone Tusk Boar. It does, uh, you know, it's left up to RNG a little bit, which scares me, but let's see. Please, God. Okay, thank God. I'd, I'll just say oops there, because it's funny, but I am happy that I killed the, uh, the boar nonetheless. So, yeah, Mad Bomber sometimes can do that to you. I have two of those in my deck. That would be the ultimate way to end this arena. If I lose this one, then on the next game, Mad Bomber ends up killing me. That would be funny. Uh, and terrible, and I would cry myself to sleep. But, you know, having a 2-mana uh, 3-2 creature out there right off the bat in Mad Bomber isn't so bad. I am not going to summon Iron Beak Owl. Ooh, I will totally use uh, Eagle Horn Bow right off the bat here. But I'm not going to use Eagle Horn Bow to actually uh, attack the Hunter directly. I'm going to use Eagle Horn Bow and just keep it. I can gain more durability if secrets end up getting revealed, but mostly I want to use it uh, to keep the board open so that I can continue to do, to do damage to him directly. So, like, for example, uh, Torin Warrior here, I can destroy, take two damage myself. He won't be able to get the value of the Enrage. Uh, the Spiteful Smith Enrage could be amazing, though. We could silence it if we want to with Iron Beak Owl, but I think that's kind of a waste. Instead, uh, Senjin Shieldmaster, Eagle Horn Bow, kills the Torin Warrior. And then, uh, with him gone, Mad Bomber does some more damage of its own. And I'm feeling a little bit better about things. So, uh, how do we do the, how do we deal with this next? Next turn, we have the op opportunity to play Spiteful Smith, which is something I would probably consider. We'll see what he does, though. He's probably going to deal... Oh, he's going to use Spellbreaker and silence me. Uh, and... and then he's going to kill me? Change a minion's health to one this turn. But does he have anything that he can use to deal damage, then? Like an Arcane Shot? Is that a Mage-only card? He has no mana. That's weird and uh, uh, like a total waste. That was very strange. I will apologize to him for that, even though, you know, big whoop. Uh, so, Spiteful Smith is interesting. I kind of want to play the Demolisher. I think I sacrifice the Mad Bomber. I could have used the Taunt Creature instead, but I don't know. That, that was probably a misplay on my part. And then, um, at the start of your turn, deal two damage to a random enemy. Let's go with the Demolisher. We'll use our Hero Power. Uh, I'll also use my Eagle Horn Bow to just deal damage directly. That'll break my weapon. Hopefully, I'll get another one soon. Did I already... I didn't attack with that yet. Okay, so he's down to 16. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, Strangle Thorn Tiger is basically like 5 damage whenever we want to use it. Iron Beak Owl is a silence. Boulder Fist Ogre does a ton of damage. Spiteful Smith, pretty good 5 mana drop, even if the Enrage effect doesn't really end up working out for me. And uh, as of right now, Demolisher is going to help me maintain some board control. 2 damage to a random enemy or deal damage to the Hunter directly, which might be what I need right now. Too bad uh, that he actually played that secret there. Uh, because I, if I hadn't used Eagle Thorn Bow or Eagle Horn Bow, it actually would have gained uh, some extra durability. So he played Ancient Brewmaster in a style that is not going to help him at all because it's not going to give him a minion back. That's fine. Uh, Big Game Hunter is worthless here, but that's okay. Now the question is, um, what is the card that he has? So I should not play anything until I at least deal some damage and see if this is Explosive Trap or Freezing Trap. Explosive Trap. That's fine. Does two damage to all enemies. I'm still alive here. I just wanted to do that before I played any more minions. Uh, probably quite obviously. 
Otherwise, they would end up taking damage. So why don't we send out Boulder Fist Ogre at six mana? There's no point in using our silence yet. I think we just end up smacking him in the face again, and we could potentially win on this next turn. And we've got some options. We've got Hero Power. That's two damage. We've got uh, Iron Beak Owl. That's a silence. We've got a stealth creature that can do five damage and not be targeted. Big Game Hunter can kill uh, an awesome minion of his if he sends one out. Destroy a minion with an attack of four, seven or more. If he has one, that is. So it would almost be better for me if he sends out a seven mana creature or buffs a creature up to seven. Sorry, not seven mana. Seven attack. Uh, Oasis Snapjaw is annoying, but it's, it's not that big of a deal. I just win on this turn, then, if he doesn't do anything. So, finally! Feels good. Well played. Uh, our losing streak is over in a fairly easy fashion. Let's not get cocky. This still could be a terrible deck. I might have just gotten very, very lucky with draws or withdrawing an opponent who is not necessarily as experienced. But I'm okay with that. At the very least, we, we've shrugged off... Uh, you know, our loss there. And if we win, you know, a few more games, we can actually get uh, 60 gold from in-game quest as a result of uh, doing that daily. I don't really do the dailies that often anymore because the beta wipe is incoming. In fact, by the time this video goes up, there might have already been the beta wipe, which is going to wipe all the cards and experience and uh, the, all the money that you spent will be refunded to you. So um, I'm like, why would I waste my time trying to earn too much more in-game gold at this point? So, it's the first time i played against a mage in a little while. We are going to go second for the first time in what seems like forever, and we got a Demolisher. So, I think, um, as much as Big Game Hunter could be useful... Well, let's start with the obvious choice. We've got to get rid of Frost Elemental and redraw it. We can play Goldshire Footman on our f first turn, and then Demolisher on our second with the coin. I think we throw Big Game Hunter back in the deck, and uh, we, we hopefully pick up a card that is a little bit more useful in the early game, because Big Game Hunter is better if it comes out later. That was good! I'm, I'm totally content with that draw. So we have a Silence that we can play at some point. Uh, we can get Demolisher out on our second turn. Uh, hello. Very nice. Uh, so we'll send out Goldshire Footman first. We also drew an awesome uh, Eaglehorn Bow. So the value in this, uh, we could play the coin and then Eaglehorn Bow right away. Demolisher is probably a little bit more valuable if we get it out while the Taunt's still alive. We'll see how this ends up working out, though. Uh, you know, for three mana, Demolisher... Oh, thank God we didn't play Eaglehorn Bow right away. Uh, and we have Gladiator's Longbow, your hero's immune while he's attacking. So I think we, um, on this turn, Eaglehorn Bow, mostly because that'll make him feel bad. And then, uh, destroy Acidic Swamp Ooze, attack with the Taunt. And then we have one more durability on Eaglehorn Bow to get board control again. On our next turn, we can play Demolisher. The Taunt should still be alive, unless he uses, like, uh, the Missile move. Which is another reason I don't necessarily, like, Arcane Blast or Arcane Missiles. Which is another reason I want to put my weapon out here so that I can, uh... You know, hopefully take care of things that way. So I know that I take damage when I do that, but I think it's worth taking the damage to get that creature off the board. There was no other way to do it quickly anyway. Uh, and if that creature hits me once, then I might as well have attacked him, right? Amani Berserker is another creature that we can destroy uh, with our Eagle Horn Longbow. We can't knife juggle... The oh, okay, here's what I'm thinking. We don't put out the Demolisher. Instead, we put out Knife Juggler on this turn. So I think we attack this dude. We take five damage total. That's fine. We send out our Knife Juggler. And then on the next turn... Thralmar Farseer. This might be the right time to summon him as well, but this is fine. Uh, this will allow us to, again, keep some board control because of uh, the Knife Juggler's uh, active effect. Maybe? We'll see. Um, Demolisher we can use quickly. We want to get some creatures out before... He gets a 7 mana, because if he has that, uh, it's called like Fire Blast or something like that, that does 4 damage to all enemy minions, that's obviously going to be a problem for us. Gladiator's Longbow. It's I don't like Gladiator's Longbow that much, in all honesty. So he played Kirin Tor Mage, uh, so secrets cost 0, that's annoying. And that's a really cheap card, uh, considering the 4-3 that it's got. 3 mana, 4-3, and it makes the next secret you play cost 0. That's pretty good. No point in silencing it. I think, uh, instead... We summon Demolisher. And then we see... Oh, is it going to make a copy of the minion? If so, that's frustrating. Yep. Uh, we can kill it, though. Well, we'll see what Knife Juggler hits. Oh, that's perfect. So now Knife Juggler can just destroy this guy. He doesn't have a Demolisher anymore. On his next turn, he's going to have to kill the Taunt. And then we got a 4-3 creature out here. That's annoying, but... We can deal with it. Assuming the Demolisher lives, that's going to make it a lot easier to deal with. We could hit it with one damage and then stop it. 
Um, he's gonna... Can you just hero power the knife juggler? You can, okay. So that's good. That was probably a smart idea for him, but he's only got three mana left now. If he attacks that with that, then the Demolisher could actually just end up killing him on the next turn if it lives, which it is going to. It hit the mage directly, which is frustrating. Uh, explosive shot, interesting card. I think what we would want to do here is send out our Senjin Shield Master so that our Demolisher could potentially live for yet another turn. Is there any way that's anything that's better to do than this? The silence doesn't make any sense. Explosive shot's kind of a waste. Yeah, I think Senjin Shield Master. Then we just attack um, the mage directly. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very dominant position yet. I would love to get a uh, oh, one one sheep without taunt. That's frustrating. So polymorph is going to allow him to destroy the demolisher. Should have thought about that polymorph. Um, Acidic Swampoos again kind of came out at the worst time for him because I do have more weapons that I can play. So obviously Kieran Tormage has to die. And then it's uh, a matter of do you want to play Boulder Fist Ogre right off the bat? What could I do instead of playing Boulder Fist Ogre? I could Thralmar Farseer. He attacks it and cancels it out because he, he has to basically. Uh... And I hero power as well. What if I? What do I do if I play? I kind of want to force him to use some cards to, or cards or minions to take care of Thralmar Farseer, who is a card that I don't really value all that much. So if he has to spend some mana dealing with that, uh, then you know maybe next turn Gladiator's Longbow, I can start establishing board control a little bit again, or just deal damage to him directly. So he is going to do that, and then probably hero power me. Yeah. So Acidic Swamp Boots will live, and then I'll get attacked directly. Interesting. Almost a good opportunity to use, uh... Ooh, okay. Uh... Explosive shot. Deal 5 damage to a minion and 2 damage to adjacent ones. It's an interesting choice in this situation. Gladiator's Longbow, your hero, is immune while attacking. I... The question is, where do I want to use this if I use this right away? Spiteful Smith could allow me to do some really good stuff as well. But I think we... God, I hate to do it, but I almost think like we have to use... Explosive Shot to get these minions off the field. Then we can use this Silence, and hopefully Gladiator's Longbow would let us take out a better minion. I hate to do this, but uh, I'm going to use Explosive Shot. Clear off the board just a little bit. Hero Power. I'm really scared, because if he has Pyroblast, he could kill me in two turns. There are two Pyroblasts, so if he... That's a 10 mana card. I guess he'd have to get to 10 mana first, but... um. 10 mana card that causes me some serious problems. So, uh, I think on this turn, we're gonna have 8 mana. I'm probably not gonna draw a 1 mana card. Explosive Trap is really good, actually, but uh, we'll probably just use Gladiator's Longbow and kill Chill Windy Eddie. That would frustrate me if I was him. So, Gladiator's Longbow. We won't take any damage from killing Chill Windy Eddie, and that is uh, 7 mana to deal with 4 mana, but we've still got um, our weapon out here. So hopefully he is not able to use another Acidic Swamp Ooze. That would be pretty devastating. Next turn, we'll have nine mana. Uh, explosive Trap. All minions lose Divine Shield. That's not useful, really. Uh, Cult Master. I'm actually feeling a lot better about the situation now, even though it might appear like I'm on the back foot here. Uh, explosive Trap, I think, is super useful in this situation. Oh, okay, Battle Cry Freeze. Somebody. Uh, just hope he doesn't have two fucking Pyro Blasts. That would be the worst. Explosive Trap, deal 2 damage. When your heroes attack, deal 2 damage to all enemies. Okay, well, we, th our only choice is really... We could Explosive Trap, Silence, Spiteful Smith. But the weapon's not going to live. Uh, we The Silence is good on Cult Master, I think. But I'll probably just kill Cult Master on this turn. And then freeze the enemy. Yeah, okay. Explosive Trap... Like so. Uh, battle cry freeze a character. We freeze the other minion. We kill the cult master so he doesn't get any card draw. And we don't take any damage as a result. Next turn. 10 mana. Boulder Fist Ogre. The silence if necessary. It's gonna be interesting. He could have fireballs. He could have pyroblasts. He could have polymorphs. Arcane Intellect, probably a good card when you're at a card disadvantage. He's really only getting, he's paying three mana for one extra card, which is like, not great. He has a secret of its own. Is that secret a uh, copy? We already know he has a copy in his deck because of the way that uh, he copied Demolisher when it came out. For four mana, he could Fireball. 
Frost Nova frees all enemy minions. Kind of a weird choice. Maybe? I don't know. If we silence, does that get rid of freezing? Like, if we could silence ourselves and then deal 5 damage to him directly? Mad Bomber, I kind of like just because of the RNG, and if he copies it, that'll be super funny. Ow. Ow. Alright. Oops, that was a mistake. Oh, it is, is it a copy? Yes, mirror, ent mirror Entity. This should be interesting. So, who does he attack? Oh, it doesn't get the battle cry. Okay. Interesting. Uh, why is this guy not frozen anymore? He, he still shouldn't be able to attack on this turn. If we silence... How does silence work? Removes all card text and enchantments. Is freeze an enchantment. Could we silence our own minion on this turn? He's not frozen anymore! Okay, that's cool. I like that. Why don't we just remove this guy from the equation then? And we will summon Boulder Fist Ogre. And that was a weird play for hero power. He can destroy Frozen. Uh, or Frost Elemental. Then he can use Mad Bomber to destroy my Mad Bomber. And then it's just a matter of what cards he's got. What cards, I should say, he's got in his hand. Uh, ideally, I would love him to actually attack me and have Mad Bomber die. Ooh, Polymorph, probably. Yep. So that's frustrating. Spiteful Smith, still a pretty good card. Cone of Cold. Uh, worked out very well in the situation. This will destroy Mad Bomber, and it'll deal... Uh, his Mad Bomber, I should say. And it'll deal uh, two damage to the mage as well. So I'm okay with it. Uh, he's only got one card in his hand, and we're in a very weird situation here. So I'm, I'm throwing it all uh, on the table here. Hopefully he can't just wipe my hand out. We'll see, though. So he's got one card in his hand. If it's the seven mana card that wipes me out, and then he uh, plays a good minion, he's probably won. Otherwise, I may have a chance. Obviously, he can hero power and destroy um, Mad Bomber. Probably a smart decision. Spiteful Smith is now then going to be uh, fireballed. So he's got a one mana card in his or one card in his hand. Frostbolt. Interesting. This is a weird ass game now. Uh, I go first and have the initiative, which I think puts me in a much better position than he is. Uh, and I'm going to be able to do some damage right off the bat. But um, it's still a game that could is basically one card draw away from going. Uh, either way, basically, but I do think I have a pretty good opportunity to actually pull out a victory here, which would be nice after the terrible kind of play that I've had recently. So it's another Fireball card. Frustrating that he is able to take out my minions uh, every single turn, but as long as I keep drawing creatures or cards that are useful to deal more damage, life is good. Uh, it's also nice that I can use my hero power every time to deal some extra damage, so we'll get him down to 8 health this time, and we'll see what he is able to draw. He can still win easily. Pyroblast, Pyroblast. I've seen it happen. Not to me personally, thankfully. Uh, it, if, uh, if I summon another minion and he doesn't kill anything, which he's not going to be able to do because hero power doesn't get the spell power plus one. So if I summon a minion, I win. Because knife... Oh, not necessarily because knife juggler might hit the spell power, dude. We'll see. Knife juggler hit him directly. I hero power. And uh, I kind of got lucky there, but game's over and I'm going to take another win. So at the very least... This arena is not going to be a complete loss. I'm 2-1 and one now, I think, which is better. We've also leveled up, uh, which is fine as well. Uh, and we've won two, ge or two out of five games as the Hunter to get the, the quest done today. So, that's good news. Positive change after, uh, you know, two videos with zero wins. Now we have one video with two wins at the very least. Uh, and we'll play one more over the course of this. We're going up against Sergeant Stink. Is that maybe what he's going to try to say with his name here? So, we go first, uh, which I dislike. Gladiator's Longbow, obviously not going to be worth anything right off the bat. Knife Juggler is, and Sengen Shieldmaster would if I was going second, but because I'm going first, I have to hope for a better draw. Five and two. So, Acidic Swamp Ooze is pretty good. I'll probably go Knife Juggler turn two, uh, Acidic Swamp Ooze after that. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to be able to get the jump on me here. In all likelihood, at least. Is he going to coin? Probably coin Wild Growth. That's a pretty smart play as a druid. Yep. That's exactly what I would do if I had... I mean, you've seen me do it as a druid. Uh, so, uh, I, I don't blame him for that at all. Now, the question is, uh, do we knife juggler on this turn or do we just hero power? I think we can get away with just hero powering. Then on turn three, Eagle Horn Bow, and we can keep uh, the board clear. Then on turn four, Knife Juggler, then Acidic Swamp Ooze. That's what I'm thinking. 
Might be a terrible idea. If he summons like three creatures on this turn, then life's going to be harder for me. Uh, with Wild Growth, he's going to be able to get some good creatures out pretty quickly. Mana Addict. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. Scary. But I'll destroy that this turn with Eagle Horn Bow, and I'll only take one damage in the process, which is uh, a good thing to stop that creature from kind of balling out of control and uh, being a real pain in the dick. So I don't know if Druid has any secrets. Hunter does, but I have never been able to use Eagle Horn Bow in conjunction with a secret. Uh, this is a nice dude. We'll say thank you to Sergeant Stink here, mostly because he has a great name. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I get intimidated when people say like "well played" because I'm like, you know, you know the game well enough to know that that was good, and that scares the shit out of me. Because sometimes I don't. So I think he's saving some cards. Not a bad idea. There's not much we can do this turn, except uh, we can knife juggle, and then acidic swampoos, and then on the fifth turn. You know, Spiteful Smith could be interesting. The other thing we could do is Knife Juggle Hero Power, but then... I don't know, we might not ever get the buff out of Knife Juggler, so... Even though Acidic Swampoos isn't going to be able to destroy a weapon this time, it'll do. It'll take off his armor. And I'm going to keep Eagle Horn Bow with me, uh, because I can use that for board control instead. Next turn, do we play Spiteful Smith? I don't think so. I think we wait until maybe we get Gladiator, Gladiator Longbow, or we just, you know, content ourselves to never be able to use the uh, Enrage effect of that. So he has Taunt on that. I can kill that. Uh, I'll take some damage in the process, but I, I can kill it, so that's fine. Uh, we could also, if we wanted to, we could Mad Bomber. That would be weird. And could possibly kill me. But I, I'd, I'd get the one damage out of Knife Juggler. This is, this is a fucked up situation. I think we go like this. Okay, Acidic Swampoos. Do that. <laughs> and then, um... Kill it ourselves. And then we might as well use Knife Juggler to attack first, because this could go terribly wrong. And then we summon Mad Bomber, and then we just... Good luck to the RNGs here. One, okay, two to him, one to me. Fair enough. And Knife Juggler does one more damage, and we hero power. Okay. Next turn, I would love to play a Taunt to defend our Knife Juggler. Frost Elemental could also help us with board control. He has a card advantage, I think, but I'm relatively pleased with the cards I have for the state of the game that we're in. The stage of the game that we're in. Direwolf Alpha, weird card in this situation. Is he going to give it Taunt? No, he's just going to give it plus one, plus one. Kind of a weird choice, in my opinion. I mean, he's not going to be able to get the buff out of it, which is the, the shitty part from his standpoint. Now, what do we do on this turn? Mad Bomber to destroy Lady. Frost Elemental to freeze Wolf. Knife Juggler to kill Druid. Or to attack Druid, hopefully. The Taunt is interesting as well, but then we'd still get attacked by the Dire Wolf Alpha. Demolisher would be fun as well, but I don't think I can get it out this turn. Maybe next turn. Um, is that the best? Let me think about this again. Mad Bomber destroys Lady. Check. Frost Elemental comes out. Knife Juggler goes. Frost Elemental freezes the wolf. We can at least get one more turn and one more damage out of Knife Juggler. Sure. Um, so, might as well get this done because we don't. We want this creature to die before we uh, use Knife Juggler because it's not going to be able to get any good damage. Like, the damage was going to happen to it anyway. We'll freeze the wolf. Knife Juggler attacks it, which is less good, but uh, still fine. And then we attack the hero directly. Sucks that this is going to buff uh, adjacent minions, but hopefully he doesn't have any seriously high-value charges. I'm trying to think the Rhino would do it. Direwolf Alpha, adjacent minions have plus one attack. Weird. Uh, now what? Is it plus four health and taunt? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so it's a weird... Uh, it's a weird one here. Is he going to attack Knife Juggler? No, that would be really weird if he attacked Knife Juggler directly. So, we have Spiteful Smith again. I didn't realize we had two of those in our deck. So... How does one deal with this situation? Uh, you summon a minion first. Which minion? We, we can only summon one this turn, unfortunately. So I think in that case we should summon the Taunt. Now we hope that Knife Juggler hits this guy, Direwolf Alpha, so that the Frost Elemental can one-on-one one -on -one him. Then we... Maybe sacrifice Knife Juggler, although with the Taunt, it would be maybe better to keep him... Okay, let's hope for the best here. Lord of the Arena. Attack the wrong one, unfortunately. Now we could sacrifice Knife Juggler and... Um, Frost Elemental to kill the Taunt. And I kind of think it's for the best to do this. 
Next turn, we can play Demolisher in addition to probably a Spiteful Smith. It's shitty that this is how it went down. We won't actually be... Our Frost Elemental won't be killed. Which is nice. I kind of think this had to happen this way. I'm a little bit uh, morose about the way that that play went. It could have gone so differently if Knife Juggler had just destroyed or done one damage to the other Dire Wolf. But, you know, that's that's Knife Juggler. It's a RNG dependence. Uh, it's very lucky for him that things went the way they did. He is using Claw and then Shapeshift, which will give him enough damage to destroy my Taunt on this turn. The real question is, what the fuck is he going to do with Stranglethorn Tiger on the next turn? Probably use it to destroy the Frost Elemental, but it will destroy him in the process. Uh... I feel like I've still kind of got the jump here. Eagle Thorn Bow, or Eagle Horn Bow, I could use instead of Demolisher. But I kind of like Demolisher in this situation as he gets closer to dying. Uh, and... Rage your weapon has plus two attack. Okay, so I think we, we do Demolisher, Spiteful Smith. And then if Spiteful Smith gets hit but not killed, Eagle Horn Bow becomes super useful and we can maybe just kill him with it. Uh, so, Demolisher. Spiteful Smith. Attack him directly, end the turn, hope that he uses his Stranglethorn Tiger to attack the Frost Elemental. Next turn we would probably play Stranglethorn Tiger, Eaglehorn Bow, because I've got him so close to dead. How does he play this? Let's see. He's using all his cards. All characters have plus two attack. That's scary. He's going to kill the Demolisher. Okay. Frost Elemental is going to die as well, but he took five damage in the process there. I don't know if he should be too happy about that. Um, here's an interesting play then. Let me just make sure I'm not fucking myself here. Mad Bomber. First, Eagle Horn Bow. Like so. Then, Mad Bomber. And if it enrages Spiteful Smith, or just does damage directly to the hero, I could win. Well played. But if it enrages Spiteful Smith, then that's really nice. Okay, they didn't enrage Spiteful Smith, which is just annoying then. Uh, but we still kill him. Okay. We win again. Lucky us. Some good plays in there. I'm starting to feel a little bit better about this deck overall. And at the very least, this Hunter deck is going to go 3-3. Three and three. So even though we started with one loss, I think we kind of redeemed ourselves a little bit there. So as always, thanks for watching. We're getting back on the right foot here. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to click the like button. It does help me out a lot, uh, especially when it comes to spreading the series throughout YouTube and teaching people how to teach me in Hearthstone. Uh, also, feel free to leave a comment letting me know misplays or good plays, what you liked or did not like about the video. And there is a convenient link on the video description where you can click to subscribe for more daily Hearthstone or an annotation after the point that this video is over. You'll see an outro. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And of course, I will. See you next time.